Bellows designs and today I'm going to show you how I created this card I call Cabin in the Woods. Uh, it's a bit different for me because normally my cards are five inches by seven inches but today I thought I'd try a different card and I'm doing what's called a DL size card. So for that you will need a piece of multifarious card that is eight inches by 3.6 inches and another piece of card once folded measures 8.25 by 4 inches and then you'll mount that onto there straight on okay and for the stamps today i'm going to be using the lavinia bayleaf cottage which is lav 685 i've also made a little um, cut out of this stamp so that i can use it as a mask for doing the background trees this one doesn't have a little acetate card but hopefully you can see that on there that's called the mini leaf 305 I have the 643 tree stem the 683 foliage set i'm going to be using the one on the left and again i'm going to be using the 698 flora set the one on the right which has been very very popular with me <laughs> so those are the stamps that we need for the backgrounds i'm going to be using lavinia elements russet orange truffle and I'll do the edges in graphite. The inking, I've actually got a lot of inking for the leaves and stuff to have different colours. So there's quite a few Versafine Claire's. It's Chianti, Green Oasis, Golden Meadow and Paradise. And also Nocturne, Acorn and Twilight. I have a little smoothie in, in a brown ink for blending. I have an acetate moon and a piece of acetate to put on my card when I'm blending the ink so I don't get it too much over my own hands. I have some stencil brushes in orange, brown and graphite, which is a grey black. I have a gold gel pen, a blue and a red Posca pen, a black pencil and a black fine liner. I have five different uh, polychromo pencils in sort of russet shades, uh, an orange, a brown and a gold. I also have a quickie glue pen, a small fan brush and some gold glitter. The fan brush is to brush off the excess glitter from the image. I have a kitchen roll and some uh, water. Okay, let's get started. Right, I'm going to start with the orange, the russet. And I'm going to hold the moon roughly where I want the moon to be. So I'm just going to blend around that. Now you'll notice I'm not blending it particularly um, fussily. I'm not trying to get it all neat. I quite like the different dark and lighter parts of the background. Once once you've stamped on it and um, added extra details, I quite like that. So I'm also going over the moon because I don't want it to be white. I want it to be like a goldy, orangey colour. And I'm using this acetate, as I say, to... Just stop putting my fingers in the ink as I'm working around the page. Just a little bit 
Lord on that side. It's fine. Right, that's the orange. And now I'm going to do the truffle. to do the graphite a bit later so for now I'm just going to use those two and we're going to give that a good spray Quite a bit comes off, but you still get the nice dark edges. There we go. Right, I'm just going to quickly blast this before I start stamping to make sure it's very dry. For the stamping of the cottage, I'm actually going to use my um, Misty because I haven't got a long enough acrylic block to fit the cottage on. So I'm going to just put it on here for now. I want it to be up a little bit from the front, about there. Do. Excuse me. And I'm going to stamp that with Nocturne. The actual cottage is the only thing I'm stamping in Nocturne. The others I'm going to be using different colours. Just press that down and put a bit of pressure on. going to give my stamp a quick wipe if I put it away. There we go. So next I'm going to be stamping the acorn on the trees. Now the tree isn't long enough, so I'm going to do the bottom half and then I'm just going to turn it the other way around to make it go to the top. It can go in there. And just join it up that side. Now I'm going to use my little mask that I've made for this part because I think he's going to be a bit close to the to the actual cottage. And I'm just going to join this end up. I'm trying to do it on camera, it's a bit harder than... Oh, that's okay. 
And then I'm going to do some second generation stamping of the trees. Okay, I'm going to put my little house in place. Third generation there. Oh, I didn't do that second. That was silly. Never mind. This one will be second. Next, I'm going to do some flowers at the bottom. And I'm going to do those in the paradise. to use the flora set and I'm going to use nocturne sorry twilight I'm going to be using a bit of cut off paper here just to mask the cottage there For some leaves. I'm going to use the mini leaf. I'm going to start it with the golden meadow. I'm just going to randomly. Change it to Chianti. going to be some green oasis.
have for the acorn which is a slightly darker brown All the leaves. And we're going to do some colouring. So I'm going to be using these five pencils to be colouring the, the roof of the cottage. Whilst I was colouring it, you may have noticed I wasn't too bothered about going over that little um, thread that goes around because I'm going to be actually using a Posca pen for that part, so I don't, uh, I didn't worry about going over the edges.
And there we have it, cabin in the woods. If you find there's a few odd bits of glitter, I just give it another little quick brush. But the glitter is quite likely to fall off a little bit, but it does add some nice sparkle. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope to see you on either of our Facebook groups. We have two groups. We have Del Bello's Designs Lounge, which is everything that's Lavinia based. And we also have Del Bello's a la carte for everything else Patty sells at Del Bello's Designs. Um, and there's lots of people in there sharing their work, making friends. It's a nice group to be part of. And I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.